Hello, hook loopers. Welcome to my crochet channel. I'm Sarah. I had some problems identifying the name of today's Tunisian stitch. You often comment telling me that I give the wrong names to the stitches I show you, but the truth is that except for the most popular Tunisian stitches, uh, for the majority of the less known ones, there is no uh, real uniformity in names and many stitches are known with different names. So, for example, I've seen today's stitch described as Tunisian claw stitch, while in Italian it's called the Tunisian chestnut stitch. So I will just call it Tunisian claw stitch. But if you have another name for this stitch, please let me know in the comments. So let's begin. The Tunisian claw stitch can be worked from a chain in any number of stitches on a simple stitch foundation. So here I have started my sample from a standard foundation row in Tunisian crochet of 20 stitches, which counts as row number one. Then I've worked three more rows in Tunisian simple stitch. And now I'm going to show you in my fifth row how the claw stitch is done. But remember, I will leave a link in the description below of all these um, Tunisian crochet basics. So let's see. To begin with, I will work into the first six stitches in Tunisian simple stitch with my first loop on the hook already counting as stitch number one. So now I will insert the hook under the next vertical bar on front, which is the first one, since we never count the vertical bar that's right under the loop on the hook as stitch number one. So this one. So I will go with my hook from right to left under it, yarn over, pull through and drop a loop on the hook. That's stitch number two. We will make stitch number three here. That's three, four, five, and six. Now we'll create my first claw stitch. So I will prepare as if for a Tunisian double crochet, so I yarn over. Now I need to insert the hook two rows below the one I'm working on, so here. But I will insert the hook not on the, under the corresponding vertical bar, this one, but under the preceding one, so this one. Okay here. So I go under it and create my first Tunisian double crochet. So I yarn over, pull through one time, then yarn over and pull through two loops together. And that's my first Tunisian double crochet. Now I need to create two more Tunisian double crochets like this. So I yarn over and insert the hook two rows below, but this time under the corresponding vertical bar of my stitch here. So the one in line with my position, so here. So the one, uh, the vertical bar right after the one I've just worked in. So this one. Yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through those two and my second Tunisian double crochet is created. Now for my third double crochet I will yarn over and insert the hook two rows below under the following vertical bar. Okay, so here. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two that's my third Tunisian double crochet created. Now I will yarn over 
and pull through these three loops just created, obtaining one single stitch from them. Okay. Now we'll proceed working into the next six stitches in Tunisian simple stitch. So don't forget, don't skip any stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we'll create another claw stitch, just like the one we've just done here. So we prepare for the Tunisian double crochet. So we yarn over, go two rows below, not on the corresponding uh, stitch, but working in the preceding one. So this one here, which is actually the corresponding one of the last loop I have on the hook. So here, we insert the hook there, we yarn over, pull through, yarn over again and pull through two. First double crochet created, now another one, yarn over. We need to insert the hook here, two rows below. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. Second double crochet created, now the third one. Yarn over, insert the hook two rows below under the next vertical bar in line. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. Now don't forget to yarn over and pull through those three loops together in order to obtain one single stitch from this claw stitch here. And now we will uh, complete our forward pass by working into the uh, final six stitches in Tunisian simple stitch. So we have these ones here. This is the uh, hidden stitch that we should not skip or forget. One, two, three, four, Five. And the sixth one is, as usual, a neat closing stitch. That is to say, we create a nice border left, just like it is on the right side, by inserting the hook under both the front vertical bar of that border stitch and the back bar of it at the same time. See? Yarn over and pull through and drop a loop on the hook. The return pass for this stitch is the standard one. So we yarn over and pull through one loop only first. Then we yarn over and pull through two loops together. Yarn over and pull through two loops together. Yarn over and pull through two. Repeating this until we have cast off all stitches from the hook and we are left with just one loop on the hook completing our row this way. Now you can actually proceed from here in the way you prefer. The next row will be worked in Tunisian simple stitch. We will just pick up a loop from each stitch across and here on top of our claw stitch we will very simply uh, work a Tunisian simple stitch from the one stitch that was obtained from the claw stitch and okay you can create uh, the pattern as you prefer as I said uh, you could work four more rows in Tunisian simple stitch um, minimum or even more depending on what you want to do and depending if you want to create more close stitches in line with these ones 
or if you want to alternate them you can you could even uh, leave a uh, a less number of uh, uh, rows in between the ones we have just created. So you can either create uh, more closed stitches in line, as I said, symmetrically or asymmetrically. You could alternate them and insert one here and perhaps one before and one after and so on, depending on your project, on the uh, number of stitches, you chain, and so on and so forth. So, lovely stitch, I would say. Next week, I will show you a similar stitch that's even lovelier than this one, if possible. So, don't miss it. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Bye-bye.